This program will provide you with instructions on how to correctly use the hex crimp pneumatic crimper. Using the chart on the machine, you will first need to determine the proper die setting for the cable gauge and connector you are crimping. To select the correct die position, push the pivot pins from the spring side and rotate the dies to the desired setting. When you release the pins, the die will lock into place. The settings on the upper and lower dies must match for a proper crimp. You now need to prepare the cable. Strip the cable insulation to the recommended length for the connector. In addition, if you are using heat shrink tubing or a boot or both, slide them over the cable prior to applying the connector. Next, lift the guard or insert the connector through the opening on the side of the guard. Position the connector in the crimp die. Be sure to use the adjustable stop to keep pressure on the connector to ensure the base of the connector is seated firmly against the cable insulation. Close the guard. Using the foot control, fully close the dies for a proper crimp. The pressure gauge should reach 80 PSI before you release the foot switch. Crimp the connector at both points marked on the barrel of the connector. Always remember to crimp near the cable first. You have now completed a crimp that exceeds both UL and SAE requirements. Some connectors require a double crimp. These connectors are SBs and DIN. For these connectors, rotate the connector 90 degrees or a quarter turn at the same crimp point and crimp again. Repeat the steps you took in performing the first crimp. 1. Position the connector in the crimp die, crimping near the barrel first. 2. Use the foot pedal to execute the crimp. 3. Release the foot switch when you have applied 80 PSI. You have now completed a double crimp that exceeds both UL and SAE requirements. For more information, please see additional programs on machine features, installation and safety, as well as other related programs.